In a world where military capabilities are advancing at breakneck speed, the emergence of hypersonic missiles has cast a formidable shadow over the global stage. These ultra-fast, highly maneuverable projectiles have become game-changers in defense and offense. Amidst regional tensions and the looming specter of an international conflict, Iran has quietly unveiled a groundbreaking addition to its arsenal, a new hypersonic missile. Iran's newfound hypersonic marvel embodies its determination to bolster its military might in the face of escalating hostilities. Its capabilities include incredible speed and the ability to outmaneuver traditional defense systems, underscoring the critical role hypersonic missiles now play in shaping the future of warfare. How do hypersonic weapons shape the strategies and capabilities of nations on the brink of potential international conflict? Join us as we explore Iran's new hypersonic missile that can destroy the U.S. in 40 seconds. Escalating tensions between Iran and Israel center around Israel's apprehensions regarding Iran's suspected nuclear ambitions. Israel, a potential target if Iran acquires nuclear weapons, adamantly vows to prevent this outcome. Israel's economy minister has cautioned Iranians to be deeply concerned, anticipating dangerous escalation as Iran advances toward nuclear capability. Traces of weapons-grade uranium detected in Iran raise alarms, with Israel skeptical of Iran's explanations. Israel's prime minister deems Iran's claims implausible. U.S. Ambassador Laura Holgate also expresses concerns, noting Iran's actions surpass established limits, as it produces an unusual type of uranium. These developments heighten global unease, with Israel and allies closely monitoring Iran's nuclear progress. On November 10, 2022, during the commemoration of the 11th anniversary of the death of Hassan Tehrani Moghaddam, often referred to as the father of Iranian missiles, Iran made a groundbreaking announcement. The country revealed to the world an advanced hypersonic ballistic missile a significant technological achievement that has been described as a major generational leap. This unveiling marked a momentous event in Iran's military capabilities and was met with great interest and scrutiny. Brigadier General Amir Ali Hajizadeh, the commander of the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps Aerospace Force, provided key insights into this new missile's capabilities and potential impact on the global military landscape. And on June 6, 2023, the world witnessed Iran unveiling this groundbreaking achievement, the Fatah hypersonic missile. Developed under the aegis of the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, Fatah is emblematic of Iran's relentless pursuit of military advancements. This unveiling marks a significant milestone in Iran's defense capabilities and has garnered international attention due to the missile's claimed high maneuverability, exceptional speed, and its purported ability to thwart all known missile defense systems. The name Fatah, signifying conqueror or bringer of victory, was personally chosen by Iran's supreme leader, Ayatollah Ali Khamenei, adding symbolic weight to this technological triumph. The Fatah missile is an impressive two-stage solid-fueled weapon with a remarkable range of 1,400 kilometers and an astounding terminal velocity ranging from Mach 13 to Mach 15. What sets it apart is its unique spherical engine warhead, powered by solid fuel and equipped with a movable nozzle. This groundbreaking design not only increases its speed, but also enables precise maneuverability in multiple directions. Using solid fuel for propulsion ensures its effectiveness in various environmental conditions. This advanced hypersonic ballistic missile showcased by Iran stands out for its exceptional velocity, allowing it to travel at unprecedented speeds, far surpassing the capabilities of conventional ballistic missiles. Its high velocity not only extends its range, but also drastically reduces the reaction time for potential targets and adversaries, establishing it as a formidable weapon in Iran's arsenal. One of the most notable aspects of this missile is its remarkable maneuverability. 
General Hajizadeh emphasized that the missile can navigate below and above the Earth's atmosphere. This ability to operate in different atmospheric conditions and altitudes adds a layer of complexity for any defense system attempting to intercept it. The missile's maneuverability makes it a challenging target for anti-missile systems, as it can swiftly change trajectory, making interception more difficult. General Hajizadeh made a bold claim that this advanced hypersonic ballistic missile is capable of breaching all existing anti-missile defense systems. This assertion implies that the missile has the potential to defeat or evade even the most sophisticated anti-missile technologies in use today. It signifies a significant leap in Iran's missile technology, potentially posing a major challenge to global missile defense architecture. If Fatah indeed possesses the capabilities that General Hajizadeh claims, it could potentially challenge the Iron Dome's effectiveness. The Iron Dome's rapid response and interception capabilities, which are tailored to slower-moving threats with predictable trajectories, may be less effective against a hypersonic missile as agile as Fatah. The Iron Dome, a remarkable creation of Israel's defense industry, Rafael Advanced Defense Systems, is a multi-layered system designed to intercept and neutralize various aerial threats. This includes short-range rockets, artillery shells, and even ballistic missiles. Since its initial deployment, the Iron Dome has garnered a reputation for its exceptional success in intercepting incoming threats. It has effectively shielded Israeli civilians and crucial military assets from the perils of rocket and missile attacks. At its core, the primary mission of the Iron Dome is to swiftly intercept and neutralize the imminent danger posed by short-range threats. These threats encompass rockets and 155 mm artillery shells, often boasting a range of up to 70 kilometers, roughly equivalent to 43 miles. What sets the Iron Dome apart is its unwavering operational effectiveness, unaffected by external conditions such as day or night, adverse weather, or the simultaneous presence of multiple threats. This level of adaptability and reliability underscores its significance in the realm of missile defense, particularly in safeguarding Israeli territories and its populace. The Iron Dome's operational prowess relies on a triad of indispensable components, each fulfilling a critical role within the system. At its heart lies the detection and amp tracking radar, a fundamental component that serves as the system's watchful eye. Collaboratively developed by ELTA, an Israeli defense company and subsidiary of Israel Aerospace Industries and the Israel Defense Forces, this radar system possesses the vital task of detecting the launch of incoming threats and continually tracking their flight paths. It provides precise data, forming the bedrock upon which the Iron Dome's interception calculations are founded. The Battle Management and Weapon Control Center stands as the strategic nerve center of the Iron Dome. Crafted through the collaborative efforts of Rafael and Empressed Systems, an Israeli software company, this command hub orchestrates the system's every move. It skillfully assesses the data received from the radar, diligently evaluating the trajectory of identified threats. It is within the BMC that the precise moment for a missile launch is determined based on the imminent threat's trajectory. It is the operational brain behind the system's rapid, precise, and highly effective defense mechanism. The final link in this chain is the missile firing unit, which plays a pivotal role in intercepting incoming threats. It is responsible for launching the Tamir interceptor missile. The Tamir missile, manufactured by Rafael, possesses advanced electro-optic sensors and several steering fins which endow it with exceptional maneuverability and precision. In each Iron Dome battery, one can typically find three to four launchers, and within each launcher are up to 20 interceptor missiles. This configuration aptly demonstrates the system's remarkable capacity for handling multiple engagements simultaneously further accentuating its significance in the missile defense domain. The effectiveness of the Iron Dome is intricately woven into its seamless operational process, exemplifying the fusion of technology and coordination. The system's radar, recognized as the ELM-2284, serves as the vigilant sentinel in the skies.
Continuously scanning the airspace, its purpose is to identify the launch of incoming threats and to capture the crucial initial trajectory data. This data is paramount, forming the bedrock for the system's precise interception calculations. Once the radar has relayed the data, the Battle Management and Weapon Control Center comes into play. It processes the information received from the radar, meticulously evaluating the trajectory of the identified threat. This rigorous evaluation serves as a critical checkpoint, determining whether the threat genuinely poses a risk to a designated area. The system triggers the launch of interceptor missiles only when a genuine threat is confirmed. In the event of a confirmed threat, the Iron Dome promptly springs into action. An interceptor missile is swiftly fired to intercept and neutralize the incoming threat before it reaches its predicted impact area. The exceptional maneuverability of the Tamir missile allows for precise interception, enhancing the system's overall effectiveness. What sets the Iron Dome apart from traditional air defense missile batteries is its innovative deployment pattern. Unlike centralized systems, where all components are co-located, the Iron Dome deploys dispersedly. Each launcher operates autonomously and can be remotely managed through a secure wireless connection. This decentralization gives the system enhanced flexibility and adaptability, making it exceptionally responsive to evolving threat scenarios. Remarkably, it has been reported that each Iron Dome battery can safeguard an urban area covering approximately 150 square kilometers, highlighting its impressive coverage capacity. This decentralized approach aligns with the Iron Dome's core objective, to provide comprehensive and effective protection in the face of diverse and evolving aerial threats. While Iron Dome's achievements are significant, it is no longer immune to evolving threats such as advanced hypersonic missiles. Developing such missiles like Iran's Fatah hypersonic missile raises the need for continuous innovation and adaptation in missile defense systems. The dynamic nature of modern warfare demands that nations and defense experts remain vigilant and invest in technologies capable of countering emerging challenges. Furthermore, the unveiled missile has been designed to target not just any defense systems, but the most advanced and significant missile defense systems in the world. This capability suggests that Iran's new missile could potentially neutralize the protective infrastructure of even technologically advanced nations posing a serious threat to their national security. The unveiling of Iran's Fatah hypersonic missile has far-reaching implications for regional power dynamics and global security considerations. This advanced missile technology challenges the existing paradigms of warfare and missile defense. Regionally, Iran's possession of the Fatah missile marks a significant advancement in its military capabilities. This development underscores Iran's growing influence and power within the Middle East, potentially altering the regional balance of power. It introduces complexity into the regional military landscape as neighboring countries reassess their defense strategies in response to this new threat. On a global scale, the missile's claimed ability to target advanced defense systems and evade anti-missile technologies has raised concerns about the adequacy of existing missile defense strategies. It highlights the evolving nature of modern warfare and emphasizes the need for continual improvement in missile defense technologies to address the emerging challenges posed by advanced hypersonic missiles. A combination of security concerns and regional aspirations drives Iran's pursuit of advanced missile technology. The complex security environment in the Middle East necessitates Iran's technological edge to safeguard its national security. Additionally, Iran's pursuit of regional leadership plays a role in its missile development efforts, providing a strategic advantage and deterrence against potential adversaries. Internationally, there is heightened concern regarding the security implications of Iran's new missile capabilities, including their potential to disrupt defense systems and their implications for modern warfare. The development of Fatah may impact regional deterrence dynamics, deterring aggression and raising concerns about potential escalation in regional conflicts. 
Moreover, there is a focus on preventing the proliferation of advanced missile technology as Iran's expertise may be shared with non-state actors or other regional countries. Iran has entered an elite group of nations by successfully developing hypersonic missiles, a technological feat previously achieved only by the United States, Russia, and China. The significance of this achievement cannot be overstated, as it places Iran on the cutting edge of military advancements. In the context of international alliances, Iran's collaboration with Russia raises the specter of formidable capabilities. With the Fatah missile at their disposal, a Russia-Iran alliance could swiftly and decisively strike at their shared adversaries and long-standing nemeses in the region. The element of surprise and the missile's sheer speed would likely leave little room for an effective response, making it a potential game-changer in geopolitics. The unique approach taken by Fatah is a two-stage design, where a hypersonic boost glide missile is initially propelled to hypersonic speeds by rockets. Subsequently, it disengages from the rockets and glides through the atmosphere toward its intended target, utilizing the airflow for lift and maneuvering. This design allows for unparalleled speed and maneuverability, distinguishing hypersonic missiles like FATA from their conventional counterparts. It's important to clarify that while many intercontinental ballistic missiles can attain hypersonic speeds, they don't classify as hypersonic missiles due to distinct characteristics. Unlike hypersonic missiles, ICBMs follow predictable trajectories and lack the maneuverability associated with the hypersonic category. Moreover, ICBMs must ascend to high altitudes and often enter orbit before descending to their targets, providing a longer window for interception. In contrast, Hypersolic missiles function like cruise missiles, maintaining flatter trajectories and demanding less time to reach their targets, minimizing adversaries' response time. Simply reaching hypersonic speeds, as previously mentioned, doesn't automatically categorize a missile as hypersonic. Additional criteria, such as sustained maneuverability throughout its flight and a flat trajectory, are essential. Both Russia's Iskander and Iran's Fatah missiles exhibit unique characteristics in the realm of ballistic missile technology. Iskander, while capable of achieving hypersonic speeds, is often not categorized as a true hypersonic missile due to its limited maneuverability and behavior, more akin to a miniature intercontinental ballistic missile ICBM. Its quasi-ballistic path, evasive maneuvers, and deployment of decoys during the terminal phase contribute to its effectiveness, offering it a distinctive profile. On the other hand, the Fatah missile in Iran serves its intended role effectively. It shares similarities with the Iskander as a ballistic missile with a partially maneuverable re-entry vehicle, rather than featuring a hypersonic glide vehicle. Iranian Defense Minister General Muhammad Reza Ashtani highlights Fatah's advantage of a reduced radar cross-section, combining stealth features with its impressive hypersonic speeds, enhancing its ability to penetrate air defense systems. Even a minor reduction in RCS can potentially delay radar detection, although high-arching ballistic missiles can still be detectable by ground-based radars. Both missile systems contribute to their respective countries' military capabilities, offering unique strengths and applications within ballistic weaponry, while Iskander focuses on delivering precision strikes within theater-level conflicts. Fatah provides Iran with a potent weapon system capable of fulfilling its intended purpose effectively. In the rapidly evolving landscape of military technology, Hypersonic missiles have emerged as a pivotal component of nations' strategic defense and offense capabilities. These missiles, which travel at exceptionally high speeds and possess unique capabilities, are at the forefront of contemporary defense systems. While several countries actively pursue hypersonic missile development, the United States is a prominent leader, with substantial investments and numerous projects underway. The nation's dedication to hypersonic missile technology has not gone unnoticed by the international community, prompting other countries, including Iran, to explore and invest in this innovative field. 
Iran's recent achievement in the development of the Fatah hypersonic missile has raised significant attention and concerns worldwide. While the missile exhibits impressive characteristics, its full potential and capabilities will become clearer as it enters. Active service and more information becomes available. Once operational, the Fatah missile will move closer to competing with international counterparts, particularly against the United States hypersonic missiles. In the quest for hypersonic missile dominance, the United States has been actively investing vast resources and expertise. Over the past four years, the U.S. Department of Defense has committed more than $8 billion to developing hypersonic missiles, with an additional allocation of $13 billion over the next five years. This substantial investment underscores the United States' determination to establish supremacy in hypersonic missile technology. Among the key missiles that the United States is developing, Lockheed Martin's AGM-183 ARRW stands out as a formidable hypersonic glide vehicle. It attains impressive speeds that exceed Mach 20, making it one of the fastest hypersonic missiles under development. The U.S. Air Force's substantial investment of $480 million underscores its unwavering commitment to this project. The AGM-183 ARU has undergone rigorous testing at Edwards Air Force Base in California, achieving a significant milestone on May 14, 2022. During this test, the missile flawlessly detached from the B-52H Stratofortress bomber, with its booster performing as anticipated. This catapulted the missile into hypersonic speeds, marking a meaningful step in the missile's development. Another remarkable offering from Lockheed Martin is the long-range hypersonic weapon, which is designed as a medium-range surface-to-surface hypersonic missile. This weapon, valued at $41 million, was integrated into the U.S. Army's arsenal in 2023, demonstrating its impressive operational range of 1,725 miles and a top speed of Mach 17. Recognizing its potential, the U.S. Navy plans to acquire a ship or submarine-launched variant, expanding its versatility. The LRHW features a substantial rocket booster with an unpowered common hypersonic glide body housed within its nose cone. Upon reaching the requisite altitude and velocity, the booster releases the CHGB, gliding at hypersonic speeds toward its designated target. HALO, an acronym for Hypersonic Air Launch Offensive, is a strategic air-launched air-breathing hypersonic missile developed by the U.S. Navy. It is designed to excel in anti-ship missions, responding to the evolving naval threats posed by near-peer adversaries. On March 27, 2023, this project awarded two separate contracts, totaling $116 million, to defense industry giants Raytheon Technologies and Lockheed Martin. Both companies are competing to develop prototypes, with the winning design set to undergo further development into a ramjet or scramjet-powered hypersonic missile for active service. The hypersonic air-breathing weapon concept is another pioneering project led by the U.S. Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency. Hawk distinguishes itself from traditional missiles as it functions as a kinetic energy weapon devoid of an explosive warhead. Powered by a scramjet engine and air-launched, Hawk's smaller size compared to hypersonic glide vehicles grants it versatility across a broader range of platforms. The project's success has been evident through its completion of three flight tests, with the most recent occurring on July 18, 2022. During this test, the weapon achieved speeds exceeding Mach 5 at altitudes surpassing 60,000 feet. Hawk demonstrates a unique approach to hypersonic weaponry and highlights the innovation and diversity within the U.S. hypersonic missile development landscape. These groundbreaking hypersonic missile projects collectively reflect the United States' relentless pursuit of this cutting-edge technology and its determination to maintain a leading role in this critical field. As hypersonic missiles continue to evolve and shape the future of military capabilities, the competition among nations to harness this transformative power is intensifying.
In this dynamic landscape, Iran's Fatah hypersonic missile represents a noteworthy addition to the growing global inventory of hypersonic weaponry, underscoring the importance of this technology in contemporary defense and offense strategies. Thank you for watching. While you are still here, click the link on your screen to check out more of our videos. See you there.